which is actually quite awesome. I won't lie. I am all for that. At least it's nice to know that the boosters can carry a current, so you can have a bunch of boosters in a line and only need one wire connection. Also, just like a pressure plate or whatever, you can also do the same thing pretty much with a detector. Like I said, the biggest thing is seeing whether or not this Pez dispenser is going to work st still and work properly. All right, it's a lot of rail. I think we got just about all the, almost all the boosters up now. There's just a few more unaccounted for. I'm gonna set these repeaters and such down for the moment. Actually, no, I need to, I need to hang on to those. Okay, I know there's still a couple boosters out here. I need removing. It's exciting. It's nice to be working on this again. All right. I'm gonna remove the booster tracks. connecting those. So those boosters are gone. That means there's only one booster left to remove. <clears throat> and that would be this booster right here. I hear a speeder. That was awful close. He's got to be above me. <laughs> Little bastard. Look at all those wine carts, guys. Look at that. And that's just for boosters. This is a good thing. I don't care how weak it might be. This is a good thing. I can work with it. How much iron that's going to save me? Holy crap. There's a fracking spider up there. Why is there always a damn spider up there? Yep, he's right there. God, there's always a fracking spider up there. Anyway. So, we have everything cleared now. Uh, all the wires are still hooked up the old way. And like I said, the first thing I want to make sure of is whether or not the boosters are going to work properly. So this is what we're going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is just set up a little powered mine rail here and here. Okay, This is the old break and the old boost. Uh, for now, for the sake of testing, I'm just going to hook this up with its own little redstone. The big test is the uh, mine cart whether or not the minecart is actually going to get boosted out of here and actually go anywhere. So, first thing I can do is actually bring this up. There's no reason for it to be this low anymore, which is kind of nice. 
next thing I can do Right now, I'm just going to clean that up. Alright, so minecart drops right here into this spot. This is where I want a powered rail, not that direction. Crap. I'm going to have to remove this for now so I can get the powered rail pointing in the right direction. Right. No, not there either. What the hell? Oy. I'm going to have to do this, aren't I? There we go. So there's the powered rail that direction, and I want another powered rail in that direction, and one more to give it the full boost. Maybe one more. So there it is. This is the new booster. So what happens, hopefully, is this will get its little boost here. And let me just move a little redstone wire there. Okay, first things first. Let's get some tr mine carts down there. Let's put this to the test. First, we're just going to start with one minecart, and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to grab a few minecarts here. All right. So first, we have a minecart coming in. It gets stopped. I don't have a redstone. God damn it. Bloody brilliant of me. There we go. Comes on in. Gets power. Doesn't go anywhere. God damn it. Gets pushed in. Ooh. Ow. So there it is on that. Here's the problem. It's oh my god, it worked! It didn't make it all the way, but it worked. Oh my gosh. It's all about getting all the way onto the track, apparently. That's the big deal. If it can get all the way onto the track, the booster will work just fine. If it doesn't, it's not going to work exactly right. So let's give this a whirl here. That pushed in there. Let's really put it to the test. That pushed in there. And that pushed in there. All right. So there they are, all nice and stacked. Here comes the ultimate test. Ready? Boom. boom. Shit, I think it's in all three of them. <laughs> it looks like they merged. And that's the problem with with uh, with having a track there on a Pez, is they merge, uh, which gives them a lot of speed because they're merged together. But that doesn't do what we want. It does not make a Pez dispenser that we want. Now, obviously, this could be easily remedied with just a small little booster here that gets sent when uh, there's power you know, sent to it, and then it boosts it out of there and then boosts it through here. But, you know, I don't think I want that. 
I might have to retire the pest dispenser, ladies and gentlemen. I might have to go for more practical sort of uh, dispenser. Well, there is one option. We could do the door pest dispenser. That might work. Uh, it's not really a, a door pest dispenser. There, there's actually, a, I don't know if you guys have seen the videos, uh, Ethos has them, where he actually has a booster that gets uh, stopped slash reset by a door. Basically, it falls on top of this door. The door holds it in place. When the door opens, it goes down, and, uh, you know, that's the end of the story, pretty much. You know, and it goes back around, the door closes, blah, blah, blah. My idea is if I d combine that with the Pez dispenser, where it'll actually fall on top of a door, uh, basically, and then when the door opens, it falls into the track with the powered rails on it, and then gets boosted out. I think that might work. I don't know how to build that. <laughs> I really don't. I'm going to have to do some research on the, the, the door resetter booster, because I'm not exactly sure the actual uh, uh, the actual sort of uh, layout for it. So I'm going to have to research on that a little bit so I can get it right. So we might be doing some more lab work, it looks like. But it, it soundly, it can work. So this is good stuff. This is going to take a while, guys, and uh, unfortunately it looks like I need to take a break already and do some more research, because apparently I'm going to fracking need it. Man, my inventory is full. Might have to make another chest here. I'm going to do that. Just extend that chest there. There we go. That's nice. So... I can hold all this stuff here for now, so I don't have my inventory full of it. So, guys, I am going to go, uh, you know, check out the tutorials on how that works, get more information about it, do a little couple test runs. Maybe I'll go over it here in this vid too, so you guys can see, and then we'll give it a try. I think that's going to be the best solution for what we want, and it'll pretty much keep our Pez dispenser intact. At least I hope so. It might, might, it might not work that way. I don't know. Shoot, it may not work either, because I, I'm trying to think, and I don't know. I guess we'll see. So, stay tuned, guys. All right, everyone. I have been schooled. Found a nice tutorial by uh, uh, Jigabrov, who talks about uh, upgrading to a door-powered pest dispenser. Looks pretty simple. He credits uh, Minecraft Addict for the original design, I guess, and showing how to do it. He uses iron doors, which I find interesting, but wooden doors should work just as well. It doesn't look too complicated, and it looks like we'll be able to upgrade it quite easily. It looks like there will be some tweaks, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Now, usually I test it out in the lab and play around with it to make sure I get the design right, but since I have so much room here to play with and I might as well just do it, I'm going to go ahead and just do it. So I'm going to grab everything I need. I don't have any doors, so I'm going to need to make a door, so that's easy enough. Why? Why? When I have, like, tons of extra doors back in the fort. I mean, seriously. What am I What am I doing? I, I'm trying to move the mic enough where it's not uh, picking up too much. I turned up the volume quite a bit, so it's picking up my S's quite a bit, and it kind of crackles, which you guys probably have noticed, so I'm hoping it uh, helps a little bit. I'm going to just grab, like, three of these because I'll be needing them for for different spots. Here, let me put that a little higher. I hope that helps. Okay. I'm going to stick these doors in here. We're going to need these tracks. We're going to need some mine carts for testing purposes. Okay, so we have this here. This is going to get switched up a little. That's the other thing I need.
Now, the fun part is this is actually kind of reverse to what I usually do from the design point. It's not a big deal. It's just a little different. I mean, having it reverse is kind of redundant, but, you know, whatever. Um, honestly, I don't think it matters. Whoops. Shouldn't matter at all, actually. So let me see if I can position this door correctly. Um, let me just fill that in for now. That should be right. Yeah, that should be perfect. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm trying to go off memory right now from uh, the video. And I'm not sure if I'm having much luck. Now what I'm going to do... Um, let me let me double check the video here a little bit off camera so I can see roughly what I'm doing. He doesn't have this blocking up front, but I'm going to put it in place anyway. Now he puts ladders basically. Okay, he has the door, then there's a bunch of ladders. Hold on. Something isn't right here. Okay, I see. So actually, basically it comes down here. So actually the door now I'm starting to see why he goes the other direction. Shoot. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Well, actually, it should work just fine. If I put the ladders here, it should be fine. Um, l let me see if it catches it properly. I mean, I don't have the ladders in place yet. I'm thinking about using signs, but that seems a little too much wood. Of course, so is... Ladders is an awful lot of sticks, but I'm going to give this enough speed. I uh, don't think that got caught, and I think that's because of the ladders being missing. Ooh. Yeah, it didn't get caught, and that's because of the ladders being missing. So I need ladders. Um, you could probably use signs. They probably work just as well. So if you'd rather not use ladders, since obviously I need ladders more than anything anymore, you can use signs. But I'm going to use ladders. I'm going to go grab those three I have, so I don't have to make quite as many. Might as well grab some more wood while I'm at it. So instead of using the standard boosters, we're going to be using whoops, we're going to be using the new boosters to do our work, which should hopefully work out really well. I heard a puppy. Oh. Totally hurt myself, but what's new? All right, so I think the ladders go here. more. We should get two ladders now. We do. That's awesome. Thank you, Notch. <laughs> Since it actually takes, you know, a whole amount of ladders now, he actually gives us two, which is excellent. Very nice. At least this makes an easy way down. Oh, Ow, almost. <laughs> so down, down. Okay, that should work. Let's make sure it actually catches it properly before we continue. I want to make sure I got this design down. The, the key is the clock, I guess. The actual clock, the repeater, whatever, uh, that makes the door open. That's the key to making this work. So as long as I've got this part down, 
Yeah, Thor caught it. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to see. And basically what will happen is we have, you know, our powered rail here, here, and here. And then when the door opens... Oh shit, that didn't work exactly like I hoped. Oh, that's probably because of this. Probably don't need that there. My bad. <laughs> I know, I know. Back and forth, back and forth. So it catches the door. The door catches it, I should say. And then when the door opens... Plop. See how it goes right onto it? Now that could be a problem because it doesn't look like it's in the right spot. And we know this powered minecart is not set properly. We could have issues. So I'm a little worried. Let me try that. I'll bring this down one more. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and, and give this a shot. I'm just going to give power to the rails. I didn't bring any redstone torches, which is just brilliant of me. It's okay, I gotta load it anyway. And then we'll make the door circuit. Uh... Okay, good. Let me grab the door, or the tor torches. Redstone torches, excellent. All right. I knew there was a door Pez dispenser. All right, so there it is. Let me go ahead and give power to the carts or to the tracks here. And when we open the door, check that shit out. Yes, that is a door Pez dispenser using powered mine rails. That's kind of my design, I guess. If you uh, Not my design, I didn't make up the Pez dispenser or anything like that, but converting it from uh, powered carts. I mean, it's not that hard, as you can see. So, what's great is we can keep this powered all the time because this is only going to open up long enough to let one cart through no matter what. So this can be powered at all times. At least it should be able to. I'm going to actually give it another another booster rail. There we go. Not that it matters. I'll probably redesign that entire thing. But okay. So the big deal now is the actual power for the door. That's the big deal now. So we basically need some torches here. So I don't have a lot of room to work with over here. So I'm going to do it over here in this old space. I mean, it's basically going to come over here anyway. And let's see here. There we go. Doot, doot. So, basically I'm going to set up something like this. I'm removing that for now so I can... So that opens the door. And then this kind of goes like that, like that. There's supposed to be two. I'm missing something. Hold on. So, I'm not working with a lot of room here. Alright, so... Okay, 
there's that redstone and let me double check my video here okay so he's got a direct connection into this this block here so that's what this is and then there's another like repeater or something of that nature that kind of goes around those it's also connected and kind of goes around okay which gives a short delay so we put that like that yeah it's not working like it's supposed to damn it that. There we go. And then, of course, so that connects to both. And then this goes to whatever power source we have, which actually triggers the uh, the door. So in this case, I'm just going to put a torch there. That's all. So let me load up the dispenser, and I'll show you roughly how this works. I have it set up properly, which I believe I do. Okay, load and load. So now the dispenser is loaded with two minecarts and ready to go. Track is powered, minecarts are set. All I have to do is give it power. Which I did not bring a little pressure pad, so I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Okay, went halfway, that's expected. There it goes. And as you can see, it stopped the other cart. We power it again, and there it goes. The trick here is this little repeater, and if I probably extended that by a second, it probably wouldn't do the half halfway. Uh, basically, you want this fast enough. that it'll open and close quickly. Now, obviously you don't have a redstone torch, you have like a some sort of pressure pad or something, but you get the idea. And that's what's going to make this work. So let me let me load it up again and let me grab a pressure plate so it looks a little more uh, obvious. Alright, so let me grab a couple more of those and I'll grab a uh, uh, pressure plate. Oops. So this is how you can do a PEZ dispenser properly, still, using the new boosters and have it work. And this is exactly what I'm going to do.